Dear Igor, you're like the old turtle who ferries creatures across the river on its back, even though some of them are scorpions. And a scorpion will sting. It can't help its nature. Another respectable customer. Want to make the dealer your life? You're not afraid of trading here? Ah, I know what I'm doing, my good sir. I've been trading since the fall of the Soviet Union. And besides, no risk, no gain. Sounds like you've traveled a lot. Ah, the Grand Bazaar in Tehran, Jarmak, Europa in Warsaw, Taksim in Istanbul. I've been places, my friend. Oh, the things I've seen. I'll bet you have. I have to ask, how does desolate Pripyat compare to these colourful places? Hey, where there's demand, I provide supply. I'm the invisible hand of the free market. I've got Putin, Trump and Gates on my speed dial. Is that right? What about Steve Jobs? What? Yeah, him too. Of course. Anyway, money makes the world go round. But bartering is also good. You want to trade? I'm looking for someone. Perhaps you've heard her name. Tatiana. Tatiana Amelieva. She used to work at the power plant. She went missing 30 years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend. It's been a while since I've seen a woman. I've been too busy. Busy? With what? With creating a new world of opportunities, my friend. I'm like Gordon Gecko, only smarter. And like Jack Ma, only more hardworking. I'm going to build my commercial empire on the ashes of Chernobyl in no time. Good luck. All right, show me what you've got, Mr. Invisible Hand. I think I've done enough trading. Do you buy goods as well? Sure. I think I've done it. Good luck building your fortune, Mr. Invis. <laughs>
Another hour gone, three more to go. Fucking hell. I wonder what the quartermaster made for dinner tonight. Hope it's not more fish. I hate fish. One last sweep and I'm done.
Mikhail, up, 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 it's time to go. God, I, what is in those barrels? Must be some kind of incapacitating agent. Maybe substance 78. The mask isn't stopping it. Gotta find Mikhail and get out of here fast. methamphetamine? Oh, this loser really is a junkie. <laughs> Behind you! is getting stronger. If we don't leave now, we'll stay here forever. Fuck off, you treacherous cunt! Uh, uh. Uh, Igor? Hey, what are you doing here? About the NAR database. Can we put it behind us now? You saved my ass back there. And I'm grateful. That doesn't mean I trust you. But you can trust me. We have a similar goal. Yeah. I might have believed that before. But by screwing our mission, you prove that we don't. See you around. Or not. Why don't you come back to the warehouse with me? You need rest. How about we play a game of hide and go fuck yourself? You screwed us both over, and now you want my help? And not fucking likely. Listen, Mikhail. I I'm sorry I had to deviate from the plan. Fuck! That's rich! You didn't deviate! You went exactly fucking against it! I know, I know. But I was there for you when you were trapped, helpless, alone, hallucinating about your mummy and her. Let me stop you right there, bud. You can talk about me being an alcoholic, a junkie, a criminal, and a rapist, but you cannot, and I want to make sure you understand this. You cannot ever talk about my mother! Do I make myself fucking clear?! You're all right, all right, yes, I get it. You really need some help. Yeah, I did need help. 
I needed your help, and you failed me. The end. Just come back to the warehouse, and we can straighten this thing out when we've both calmed down. Okay? Don't freak out, okay? I'll open the portal, and you can come back to the base. What the hell was that? Are you trying to get yourself killed? So what? What difference does it make? Do you have a death wish or something? As usual, you've got an ass to front. What I've got is a kill wish. I won't stop until I put those assholes and their organization in the ground. Believe it. So, it's a personal vendetta with you. Personal? How dare you? All you had to do is what you were fucking told! Wipe the fucking servers! Instead, you had to go poking around for your damsel in distress! Ah, never mind. I'll just need to figure something else out. Ah, uh, okay. I'll leave you to it. No hard feelings. Take care. What's new, Igor? Nothing much. What about you? Still thinking about Anton? Yeah. We had some great adventures together as mercenaries. I remember Anton talking about Kashem. What was that all about? Kashem was a nasty piece of business. How much do you know about the civil war in Syria? Not much. I've had other things on my mind. You and the rest of the world. Nobody cares about those people. For the big players, Russia, the US, China, most of these war-torn countries are nothing but a playground for testing their weapons and making policy. It's called war by proxy. Us mercs usually play a supporting role to the armies on the ground, supplying intel, equipment, and tech. There's an unspoken rule that we never attack each other directly, but sometimes we get in each other's way, and then things can get out of hand. That's what happened in Kashem. Assad's forces, backed by Russian mercenaries, clashed with the SDF, which was supported by the U.S. The U.S. used dozens of drones, fighter jets, and helicopters to pretty much annihilate the opposition. Anton and his mercenary buddies weren't equipped to deal with that kind of air superiority. He watched some of his friends die, and came close to getting killed himself. I admire your bravery and dedication, Olivier. And Anton's. Still, I can't help but wonder why we keep killing each other over some godforsaken strip of land. It goes against everything I believe. And I admire your idealism, Igor. But you're in the minority. 
And sometimes violence is the only way to solve a problem. That's something I think you're going to learn in the near future. Do you think you could find some time? <laughs> I don't... Maybe some other time. You're the boss. Igor McSprigor! What's up, Chief? How's life, Mikhail? Ah, it used to be so much better around here. These NAR assholes are really throwing a chainsaw into my trading operations. It's a pity. Closed cities and nuclear reactors used to be a great place to trade. Uncle Misha, God bless his soul, if he ever had one, used to trade in Ozersk in the 50s. He actually witnessed the construction of the first Soviet reactor. Get this, a huge ass pit in the ground. Thousands of prisoners and soldiers working their asses off. Without heavy machinery, these fuckers were like the slaves building the pyramids. What you call cool is pretty twisted, Mikhail. Take a chill pill, granddad. <laughs> Don't you get it? It's all chaos. Always has been. Back to the story. The camp guards were totally unprepared to deal with this level of chaos and had to rely on hardened criminals to run the show. Misha told me about this colorful bandit chief who used to sit on a Turkish carpet at the bottom of the pit, giving orders. He wore these puffy, exotic-looking sequined trousers and red shoes with pointy toes. As long as the guards provided vodka and some decent food, he kept all the workers in line. I find that hard to believe, but hey, who knows? It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. This place was very fucking special, and Chernobyl was too. Until everything went to shit. God damn it. I miss the olden days. Mikkel, you've been around. You could teach me something about surviving in the zone. Perhaps a fucking lootly I can. That's the smartest request you've ever made, Igor. Gathering and preparing herbs and mushrooms, scavenging for food, treating bullet wounds. I wouldn't last long in this shithole if it wasn't for my mad skills. Perfect. Let's do it. What are we doing again? Ah, oh, yes, I remember now. I'm going to teach you how to scavenge for supplies. It's very fucking important that a true stalker can recognize all the different kinds of herbs and mushrooms, right? You also need to know how to spot useful stuff, like electronics or parts, you feel me? Very fucking useful. You can use this shit to build something really badass. But you also need to be fast. You can't be wandering around like an idiot, or something will come up and bite you in the ass. That's why we're gonna time this exercise. I'll give you 60 seconds to find anything usable. I don't care if you're ready or not. Three. Two. Two. Go! You got 40 seconds left! for an ancient scholar from a past era. Not bad at all. We're done here, Igor. Right. I hope
hope you don't forget what you learned today. I worked my ass off for you out there.
You want? Want to trade? Just make it fucking quick, will ya? I know you're there, little mouse. Pick up. Who is this? A better question is, who are you? What? <laughs> I kid, Mousy. I kid. I know where you are, and I know who you are looking for. Yes? Let this be enough for now. Listen, I have something to show you. Something very important. Oh, but we must meet in person. Oh, this is not something to explain. It must be seen. I don't know who you are, but I'm not walking blindly into some trap. Blind? Oh, goodness, no, on the contrary. I wish for you to see. Meet me at the Duga Radar Command Center. You know it, yes. Duga Radar? Who the hell is this? Oh, this is insane. I heard. What are you going to do? Go meet our mystery man, I guess. The real mystery is why that guy isn't strapped to a bed someplace, juiced up on Haldol. He may know something. I have to take the risk. Sure, he might know something. Or he might just be waiting to split your skull open with a hatchet and eat your liver. I really don't think this is a good idea. It sounds exactly like a trap. It sounds like a trap, but we can't afford to ignore him. Anyway, I've got the gun. I'll be extra careful. You better be. I don't want to find your head on a spike somewhere out in the marshes. Regardless of how I feel about Tarakan, he could be my only chance of finding Tatiana. Suit yourself, but you could just as easily be racing towards your own death, and this lunatic already knows our location. Him and his nutty buddies could be closing in on us right now! We have a good defensive position here. We should sit tight and defend it, if it comes to that. I appreciate the tactical input, Olivier, but I have to do this. So, what's the fucking plan, man? Let's do this.
I remember the young pioneer camp, who would have thought that there were secret Soviet bunkers scattered around. Olivier tries hard to be friends with you, but is it genuine? He's a mercenary after all. Can you afford his brand of loyalty? Christ, what kind of experiments have the KGB been conducting? Is the NAR trying to continue their work? Stay in the shadows.
Why isn't it here? Oh, fuck! Shit, take it easy, Andre. These documents are over 30 years old. Who knows where they ended up by now? The captain said we have to find them. It's really important. It, it's for the research division. Hey, 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 check it out. Some kind of transfer order. It's got a KGB stamp on it. Should be in a museum. All documents, memorandums, and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to secure storage in Bunker 007. Hmm. It's dated April of 86. Looks like they moved all the important records after the Chernobyl disaster. We can find the bunker later. Just keep searching, see what else we can dig up.
Hey, you! Jesus H. Christ, you startled me. Never, ever do that again while I'm working. In fact, never do that, period, whether I'm working or not. What are you doing here? Well, someone sold me a combination for this safe, but... <laughs> That'll happen when greed gets the best of you. What? No, greed is good. It makes the world go round. And this, well, chalk this up to an occupational hazard. Still, it's a shame. I paid good money for this combination. Maybe I can open it with some lockpicks. So, any idea what's inside? Something of great value, no doubt. Why else would they lock it? They? Who's they? Well, uh, very important people in highly important places. Oh, like who? I can't tell you. If I did, I'd have to kill you. Just kidding. <laughs> I should hope so. Jesus! I should have brought a crowbar or a stick of dynamite. Yeah, dynamite would definitely do the trick. You got yourself in a tough spot here. What are you going to do? Well, I can't open it, but maybe someone else could. Maybe, but it looks pretty old. Might be that it's rusted shut on the inside or something. Could be. Oh, fuck this junk. It's over. I give up. You're giving up? Well, it's not like I can call a locksmith here, can I? I've wasted enough time on this. You can try your luck if you want. Completely stuck. Regular lockpicks won't do. Patrolling Pripyat almost makes you wish you were someplace else.
mosquitoes all biting you in the dick. a long way to die, N.A.R. Rat, or whoever you are. I am a man of faith. It gives me no pleasure taking lives, not even the lives of dirty little rodents like you. But sacrifice is necessary for our salvation. I don't know whether the Rat King corrupts you, or if you came here by accident. But no one must interfere with my holy work. You'll never get out of here alive. Do yourself a favor. Take a deep breath now and let go. How did it go? Kill them all? The great rat catcher in the sky will know his own.
the traps. What? Why? Whoever's after us will most likely come here looking for clues. Wouldn't it be prudent to... To what? Use this opportunity to try and thin the NAR ranks? Exactly. Look, I've done my fair share of killing, but I don't like that plan at all. God knows who might wander down here. What if a civilian walks into one of the traps? You're right, it's too risky. I can't chance killing some summer shell who went exploring. Good. I'm glad you agree. You're finally starting to think like a military man. What's taking you so long?
Namas fucking tay, Igor! And good day to you, Mikhail. I saw you fooling around with some cards earlier. Are you a gambling man? These are tarot cards. Huh? Are you moonlighting as a gypsy? Where's your crystal ball? Oh, let me think where I left it. Oh, now I remember. It's up your asshole. You don't like anything that doesn't fit with your mind-numbing scientific worldview, right? I don't like superstitious nonsense without any basis in reason or fact. You can bet your skinny little ass there are things around here that can't be easily explained. You should keep an open mind instead of just burying your face in books. The tarot can be a powerful fucking tool if you let it. Okay, I'll bite. What does the tarot say? I actually already pulled a card for you today. The lovers! Nice! This card can have multiple meanings. There's the obvious one. Me and Tatyana? Very good. But it also means having to make a choice. One that will have consequences you cannot foresee. I'd have to pull a second card to get into it. Should I do that, Igor? I think I'll stick with my mind-numbing scientific worldview. Thanks anyway. Wanna hang out for a bit? Yeah, good idea. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Actually, I... Why don't you tell me about yourself? You're from Canada, right? Yeah. My grandfather moved there from Ukraine when that was still an option. I grew up in a military family with military traditions. You might say my upbringing was as straight as the barrel of a gun. It was as much a curse as it was a blessing. No family's perfect, I guess. Our fathers keep tormenting us long after they've passed. Isn't that so? You know what's worse than being raised by a control freak? Being raised by a control freak who's also a former army colonel and a goddamn millionaire. Sounds like you had a lot of expectations to meet. Oh yeah. But whatever I did, it was never good enough. Not even after I made it into JTF2. The top of the top. An elite unit of the Canadian army. 
But I wouldn't give up. I was relentless. I was eventually promoted to my own command, and then disaster struck. We were ambushed near Raqqa in Syria, and everyone was shot to pieces, except me. Every day, I think if only I could go back and change what happened. I'm sorry, Olivier. That must have been hard. It still is. I never went home afterwards. Everyone thinks I'm KIA. I'd rather be a dead hero back in Canada than a living failure. Well, that's quite a story. I know you'll find a way to deal with your past, Olivier. You're strong enough. Do you think you could find some time? <laughs> uh, I don't... Maybe some other time. You're the boss.